we have a new episode of Loki to talk about. Yeah, it's the penultimate ultimate, which is interesting. <laughs> pin pen ultimate. Pin pen ultimate. Pin ultimate ultimate pin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like the fourth episode, um, which is crazy because we only have two two left. That's right. Uh, and it 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 kind of wraps everything up in a nice bun, but it say like, and leaves a lot of questions for the next episode, which is an interesting way for them to do it. Mm-hmm. I'm actually kind of I'm actually kind of glad. Yeah, I, I felt like everything was getting kind of messy. I don't hate I don't hate this ending. No, me neither. Yeah. Um. So let's 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 do a recap. Uh, I forget what happens. <laughs> okay, okay. So this starts off with uh, Victor Tomley. Getting in TVA, uh, Loki and the gang convince him to st- help work on the machine. Uh, Orbos or Obi uh, meets Victor Tommy, and we realize there's some kind of weird connection between the two because Victor Tomley helped uh, inspired Obi to make the booklet, but then the booklet was given to Victor Tomley and it was written by Obi, and so it's like a nice little right, you know, snake, snake eating its tail. It's a little yeah, too cute. and Obi actually says it's like a snake eating its tail, which is yeah. We did, we really didn't need that. Yeah, <laughs> but but I I do think that there could be something in, in that, uh, but we'll figure that out. Ouroboros uh, is a snake eating its tail uh, for yeah. the, for the listeners that don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um. What else? What happens after that? Uh, oh, hot chocolate, to- hot cocoa. Yeah, well, they start making them. They start trying to fix the machine. They got to fix the time loom, and Victor Timely works works on that. Right. Meanwhile, um, Back to the Future so, movie reference with the um, the the scale model that was uh, you know, what what's the reference? His lines are very similar to Doc Brown's lines in Back to the Future. Really, I didn't know that about the scale. Oh, yeah, about he's like, oh, apologies for the. Shoddy nature of the scale. I didn't have time to uh, paint oh, it, yeah. or I only had oh, okay. time to do one coat of paint. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. Good catch, Mike. Good catch. Yeah. Um. So then the good people, the good soldiers of the TVA, try to convince the bad soldiers of the TVA to become good again, uh, which kind of works. But it's a, it's a. I, don't, I, I don't. There's some weird thing about this. So. Um, what's the name? The 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 good soldier is talking to like gen- the, one of the generals. That's all. They're Hunter all B fifteen. Yeah, B fifteen is talking to the people who are who pruned when they weren't supposed to, and they were kind of arrested in a cell. Yeah, we got uh, Brad, Dox's gang. Yeah, right. And Brad's in there with them, and like B fifteen is trying to convince them to help. Like, can you? We will help us protect the TVA. And it looks like it was kind of. It looks like it was kind of working. Right. But then uh, Miss Minutes and Renslayer show up, and they're like, you know, help us, don't help them. And, and the General Docs and the rest refuse, but Brad decides to help Renslayer. Yeah. So, but here's the deal. I'm not 100% sh- There's a lot of TVA politics in that. And we've watched Loki, see all the Loki episodes, but it felt like we missed a conversation. I, I understand that B-15... Has a different philosophy about pruning and the general and everybody else, and it just felt like there were some conversations missing in that. I, I just I didn't understand. Like why did all. they why did they not immediately align with Renslayer, who's been their yeah. leader for a very long time? Yeah, you would think that. Hey, you know, yeah, I do want to hang out with Renslayer. She's going to make everything right, but they refuse. Right. They like I don't trust you, Renslayer. I think so, I think Renslayer and Miss Minutes were already worked up by the time they got into the room, and maybe. Docs and her crew kind of felt their bad energy. I mean, um, theoretically, yeah, I, I don't, uh, that's I don't know. that's and my like, only explanation for it because they were and, they were already a little bit of uh, yeah, they weren't they weren't uh, they weren't nice. But here's <laughs> the they, de- but here's the there. deal: they um, were pretty quick to kill everybody. Yeah, and that's the that's the crazy thing. Miss Mintz and Renslayer killed all the soldiers that refused to take their side in a very Graphic fashion, probably one of the most graphic things. It didn't show graphic, anything. but off screen, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you heard the sounds, and right? You, and you and you saw what that machine could do. Uh huh. So, yeah, we got a preview uh, in one of the earlier yeah, episodes. Yeah, I just don't, I don't understand why it was very dramatic. It was very, but like the end minutes of the episode, was like, yeah. But at the end she of the episode, was super excited to see everybody die. Yeah, but at the end of the episode, I kind of feel like it's going to answer some of this stuff up. Um, then Renslayer, Brad, and Miss Minutes, 
um, you know, they they um they, they they capture Victor Tomley, they try to figure out what the machine is. Um the um the loop is is fixed with, with Loki because we, we learn who so you know we have we have Loki from episode one shows up in this episode and in right. episode the one, one time slipping yeah. or time looping or whatever. Yeah. And we were, didn't know who pruned him in episode one, but we realized that Loki from this episode prunes himself, which makes sense. Yeah, well, I think we guessed that. Yeah, we guessed it. It, it, it makes sense. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, then um, did not guess who was calling on the phone though. Yeah, that was just Ob. Yeah, yeah, and that, yeah, it was and that's a kind of a, that's kind of dif- that's kind of not dis- disappointing. Yeah, it was. I was I was kind of thinking the the phone call was going to be intentional, but it was just accidental. I guess. What do you mean? Like I thought it was meant to draw him to that location. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it was whoever whoever pruned him also started the phone call or work with somebody to start the phone the call. mystery of episode one turned out not to be that big a deal in episode four it's yeah but i think that's i think that's gonna be some more to that we'll see um then um Lo- the loki sylvia and loki get their powers because they have to reset the tva miss Minsk gets destroyed i guess Lo- and um sylvia sylvie helps um sylvie mind something whatever brad and then brad it kills Renslayer pretty dramatically because, like, I was thinking about this. Pr- whenever they hit them with the pruning stick, they're dead because they used to take them to a different dimension or whatever. But that place uh-huh. is gone. So, like, yeah. So is it? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, what's it called? Aeolith. Aeolith. But, Aeolith. Yeah, it ate the whole place at, at the end. At the end of yeah, at the end of what's for, uh, season one. So it's gone. So the, really, okay, I didn't remember. Oh that. yeah, when you get pruned, you're done, dude. You're not. You're not going anywhere anymore. Hmm. Okay. Um. What's it gonna say? Oh, and uh, Victor Tomley and the gang. He's he gets sued up. Victor Tomley says, "I'm gonna be the one taking it out to the Tom Loom to fix it." Turns out there's too much temporal radiation. He gets immediately obliterated by the radiation. Spaghettification. The, the what? He gets spaghettified. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. Yeah. It was, it, That's the scientific term. Okay. Yeah. It looked pretty graphic too. And then the Tom Lou explodes, <laughs> and the TVA is destroyed, and that's it. We're done. Um, well, we don't necessarily know that the TVA is destroyed, but we do see a big explosion. TVA is destroyed at the time loom, and the <laughs> TVA is destroyed. Everything's done. Um, the way he was heading straight for the TVA. Yes, yeah, yeah. destroyed. So, Mike, your yeah, I want your initial reaction, and then I want to talk about what I think they're going to do uh, next. Episode. Real quick, as a comic reader, what did you think of the first scene where? We learned that Judge Renslayer was like the head general for He Who Remains and actually did most of the fighting. He Who Remains didn't really. It matches up with what Renslayer was in the comics because she was, she did help Kang in, in, in various of his endeavors. And at one point, she even took Kang's place. So it makes sense. Uh, okay. It's a little simplified, of course, but it makes it. Right. it Renslayer is fitting her role a lot better in season um, two than she did in season one. It fits, it, it works out. I wonder if she's done. I mean, it seems like she's oh, done. Oh, no, 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 no. She's not done. Um, but you just said she's dead and she didn't go. Well, I'm going to explain what I think is going to happen. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Um, you were asking me what I thought about the episode. Is that, is that where we're at? Mm-hmm. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I've seen a lot of like negativity about it on Mastodon. Hmm, really? And positivity. Like, you know, mixed. Some people have just been kind of negative the whole way through. I mean, it's the internet. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> right. So, um, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it a lot. I liked the ending. Um, I think one of the things I haven't liked about this is that <clears throat> I'm a big, each episode should be its own um, story arc thing. And a lot of the times they've been setting up the next episode at the end of the episode instead of just ending the episode and then letting the next episode set itself up. Mm-hmm. This one, they just end the episode on kind of like a cliffhanger. So I kind of like it. Yeah. Um, B plus. Yeah. I, I like the bravery of this episode. I like the fact that they kind of blew everything up at the fourth episode, not the fifth. And I like the fact they have two episodes to fix it. And to be honest with you, they were, the stakes were so high and all the things that they were trying to amp up were so high that there really wasn't any place more they could go except this. And it felt 
felt tight. It felt smart. Uh, I wish that the, and here's the here's so here's the deal. I think that the show is going to create some kind of temporal loop, and here's why. Technically, Loki, when Loki got when Loki kills himself, proves himself, he gets shot out of the timeline back into the TVA to episode one. Remember that? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So technically, that's that's going to happen as soon as our Loki in episode <clears throat> four prunes himself from episode one. Yeah. The loop starts over, and so now it's a cycle. Now Loki is back. The Loki episode one is back in the TVA. They're going to do a lot of things to try to stop it, and then it won't succeed. And then he'll go back to episode four, and then he'll be back at episode. Four. He'll prove himself, and so now it's a loop. How they're going to get out of that loop is the question, and I think that's how a score will work. Um, either that, or it's going to be something that we're not we we. It's going to be something completely out of left field that we haven't seen. New set designs, the whole kit and caboodle, because they did because the, the time loop it is destroyed and everything's kind of like boom. <clears> so we don't <throat> know what it looks like or what the future is going to hold. Uh, there's been some rumblings that um, that episode reset the MCU right then and there. I think that's silly to think that because I would Loki like might. for it to have, but yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't but not everybody's did. watching Loki season two, right? And so to reset the MCU like that, especially with a movie coming out and, and a TV show, yeah, right? Yeah, so it's, it's like Marvel's not that sloppy, but I do think that could be some ramifications. Maybe we like maybe we'll go back to Asgard. You know, maybe some things get fixed there. I don't know. Um, I, the the show can do whatever it wants. I'm just kind of I I like the idea of the of the loop of the two Lokis right that's now. That's interesting. That's like, so you're thinking maybe the next episode is kind of like a Groundhog Day episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. And they loop now, they how, loop, they loop through that, a few times until they figure out how to fix the loop. Yeah, I think so. I think that's going to be it. And it's it, it would make sense. Could, if yeah, it's that, this, yeah, that could be it. If it's this time travel thing they're doing. Um, you know, and like, cause if you think about it, I mean, that would make sense why they connected the first episode with the time slipping with this episode. And it also makes sense with all the deaths that we have a lot of people dying in this episode. Oh and I feel like, man, I don't want judge Renslayer's death to be undone. Oh, it will be like Renslayer is not going to be dead. The people that died in the cell won't be like that. It's just too. It's just too much. They, they won't mm. make that. They, they'll fix all that stuff. Mm. Rizzle is a pretty important character. She's like going to just go away like that. I kind of want her to. Well, she won't. <laughs> Miss Mint says to go and just go away. I mean, I mean, maybe it's good much, that I want her to because I don't like her. But it's too much finality. There's too much fin- especially for episode four. It's just too much finality. <clears throat> it's too much. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. You know, and so I'm curious to see, and like again. Loki season two has to stand on its own. If it if Loki season two reset the MCU, that has ramifications for a lot of the shows and t- and movies and stuff. And again, you're supposed to watch this and enjoy it as it is. You're not supposed to have to watch other things. That's not how they set it. That's not how they set this up. Right. And it fits. It makes sense. Now I could be completely wrong, which is fine. Um, but and there's one more. There's one big complaint that I have. We like. The first episode of Loki was Loki centric, but we really uh, haven't seen a lot. Like everything else has been other characters. We really haven't spent a lot of time with Loki. It feels like he's just a side character. It really does. It's really well. His whole relationship with uh, Sylvie was driving the first series, and that's you know we we reached a conclusion on that. Mm-hmm. I guess there could be another way to make it we more have. centered around him, but I feel like he's get. I mean, he's not getting. But on the back burner, I mean, he's still no. But um, I think that if if the if the Groundhog Day speculation is confirmed, we're going to have a lot more Loki next episode. I I, could, right. I would love to yeah. see him constantly going through and being like, oh, you know, oh my god, I can't, we can't fix this. Yeah, and like um, almost with the tempo of um, what's that Tom Cruise movie? It's got two different titles. Um, Day After Tomorrow, oh, tomorrow. I think, and and, tomorrow. and also. Die, kill, repeat. It was ready. Like it was it was die, kill, repeat. Yeah, which is a great movie, by the way. Great movie, understand. yeah. But it, like if it was, it had a really fast tempo of the looping. And yeah, if you have, if, if you they, if they did that in the next uh, episode of Loki, that would be really cool. Yeah, if you haven't watched Edge of Tomorrow, it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite movies. It's fan, it's, a, it's, a, it's really fun to watch. Yeah, it's really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, so 
the set piece the set piece of the of the show is great. I think the the murder scene of the of the of the inmates of the of the of the traitors or whatever that that the sound of it and the screaming and just the whole thing of itself is. And, and when like when B fifteen comes in and sees in, it and just like so the look bad. on her face, and I love the camera angle they use because the camera angle is like the camera's kind of hovering over the mm-hmm. scene that she's looking at, so you're getting her looking. It's just a really good way of showing her observing the scene and the yeah, look on her really, face. Yeah, it was really. It's a it's a stir, like, you know um, disturbing without that, being graphic. Well, the thing is, from a creative perspective, it's always like let the audience do the do the work. And in this case, we're doing the work, mm-hmm. which is worse because my imagination is pretty strong. Oh, know? I I didn't I didn't picture anything, but yeah, I could see how. Oh you yeah, could, how I you know. Could do I that. pictured the whole thing. You right. know, it's ugh. it's like, that could be one of the worst ways to die. To be honest, yeah, be terrible. Yeah, getting crushed, sure. Yeah, um, and knowing it's happening. Yeah. So the key question is like. It just this season just feels really close and claustrophobic. Like we've we, we're mm. every, like, well, everything everything is taking place in the TVA pretty much except yeah. for the McDonald's scenes. Yeah, last episode, last a season, little bit we of were London, all over the place. Right? Yeah, but last episode we were all over the place, and this episode is just very claustrophobic. Uh, and so that's why I kind of think that Groundhog's Day thing is going to happen. Um, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Um, I really hadn't thought t- about it at all, like what happens after this episode. Really, uh, didn't give it any thought at all. They have to land the plane. I feel like they have a lot of balls in the air. I, I it was definitely a do- shocking ending, right? Yeah, it was. Like I was, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I thought, but they, I thought that he was just going to run out there, and, and they had so happened. much black between the final shot and the credits. Mm-hmm. I was like. Waiting for some more stuff to happen, mm-hmm. but they put a they put a big um, pause in between the last scene and the start of the credits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I uh, mean, so far so good. Uh, this is, the tone's way different than the last season. I feel like it's mm-hmm. it's, it's it's doing everything it needs to do. Um, I don't know how much new people would like to watch this compared to last season. I don't know. What do you mean? <sighs> Is if you didn't if you didn't watch season one of of Loki? Oh yeah, no, you gotta watch season one of Loki before you watch yeah. season two. You can't, yeah. This, yeah, because you're all of the relationships and all the character development happens in season one. Mm-hmm. This one, it it would just feel like people running around, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm curious. There was a conversation between Sylvie and Loki in the in the diner scene. When Sylvie was concerned about keeping the TVA up, and she was like, "What are we going to do after we fix this thing? We're just going to sit here and and maintain the multiverse." Like, and then she's like, "It's like we're gods." And then Loki says, "We are gods." And so I kind of feel like the end of this at the end of this season, I think Loki is going to be like, "Okay, this is my job. I take care of the multiverse." You know, he's going to be like the head dude. Could be cool. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I'm that's where it's that. going. Uh, yeah, and like, no, no, Loki's right. Like, like, K- like Kang and his crew could easily destroy everything unless someone's there to maintain the TVA, uh, and someone's going to and like, and, and someone's going to have to do that. Otherwise, I mean, it's not. It's like the logic the show's created is without the TVA, the Kang War just goes out and just kills and prunes everything, and it's just complete total destruction. It, it gives him something that he's always been after, which is his Power. glorious purpose and to yeah. be the the ruler. But yeah. this way, he can do it and be a benevolent ruler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it feels like it's set. In, it's which it, goes it along with like, his character development of the first series. Yeah, and also feels like it's going to be a different situation. Where, like, in episode last season, Loki and Sylvie fought because Loki wanted, didn't think that she could kill. She should kill he who remains. And I think this in the ending of this season is going to be Loki and Sylvie are going to fight because they're going to disagree about keeping the TVA. I think at the end it's going to be like, I think Loki and Sylvie's relationship, you can't have them both because they're technically the same person. And so at some point you, that has like that problem that they're both Lokis in the same, like t- in the same instance is going to have to be resolved. You can't have, they both can't just exist like that. So the show's got to figure that out. Other than that, and the last thing too, uh, they kept talking about Morbius and how 
He doesn't. He has Mobius. His, Mobius. Whatever. How you say his name? It, it's like a Mobius strip. You know what a Mobius I, I strip said, is, right? I said Mobius. You said Morbius. Okay. Isn't Mobius. that the, the horrible vampire guy from the Sony movie? Yeah, probably. No. Uh, Mobius. Mobius. Okay. Yeah. Um, they keep talking about how he hasn't looked to see where he is in the timeline yet. That that's going to happen at some point. We're going. Mobius is going to find out who he is in the in the timelines. What? And what his life was. What? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got you. I don't know why I was. Because everybody else knows. But you were talking about Mobius. I was thinking Victor Timely for some reason. Yeah. 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 That Again, seems like um, a penultimate episode type of thing. That yeah, it happen. does. It does. Um, Jonathan Majors did another great job as Victor Timely. Pretty cool. Um, and also as he who remains, it's also pretty interesting. Um, I don't, I, don't, I can't imagine him not in this season. His court cases aren't going well. Well, I we'll vaguely see. paid attention to him, but they aren't. Uh, stuff that his attorney wanted to dismiss didn't get dismissed. So. Well, keep on that. Keep on, Mike. I'm not really <laughs> keeping up on it because I don't want to. But uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, I I knew him before. Loki, like I knew him from this HBO show. What's it called? Lovecraft Country. Mm -hmm. He was great in that too. Um, so I really liked him, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, hopefully his court stuff gets resolved. I, I was kind of thinking this episode was how they got rid of him for the uh, for the MCU, but you're. Your hypothesis, which sounds good, does not mean that's how they got rid of him because he would yeah, be I, he would be in the loops. Yeah, I, we'll have to just wait and see, man. Let's I don't. See. You said that he um got spaghettified because of the radiation levels were too high. Yeah, which is what I think Mobius said or somebody said in the episode. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering if he just can't go out there. No, like. Had Loki gone out there, would Loki have been immediately spaghettified? Yeah. I, yes. I don't know. Yes, because the suit got destroyed. Everything, everything. Yeah, but destroyed. but it's Victor Timely though. Can Victor yeah, but, can Victor Timely or he who remains go out there? I don't know. Well, if it, if, if especially if it Victor was, Timely, if, if Victor Timely, not he who remains. If, he who remains was, can go out there, right? But if it was, can Victor if Timely? Was, if it was okay, okay, calm down. I don't know. If it was if it was if it was specific to Victor Tomley, the suit wouldn't have got destroyed. But the suit was destroyed. You're thinking too. about it too hard. Yeah, you are you are thinking about it too hard. You're thinking about it too hard. No, I'm not. I know. If Victor no, Tomley can't go out there, of course the suit isn't gonna protect him. But why would the suit get destroyed? That means that if Loki he was immediately spaghettified. Suit, yeah, okay, 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 Mike. If Victor Tomley, if something about the universe they set up says that Victor Tomley can't walk out that door, then why would the suit get destroyed? Tell me why the suit is destroyed. Why does the suit fall victim Because it looks cooler time? than him just turning his spaghetti okay. inside of the suit. Yeah, okay. okay. No, it's not. Okay, no. You, they, no one can walk out Nobody there wants to see him turning the spaghetti inside of the suit. The radiation is too strong. You can't go out there. That's it. This is done. This is, no one can. Well, how are they going to fix it fix then? It. I don't know. I kind of think Loki could have gone out there and he would have been fine. Why, why are you trying to fix the questions and the problems that the show created? Just I'm not fixing any episode. problems. I'm just saying I don't know that it was because of high radiation. It was. They said it. They did say it, but maybe they're maybe they're wrong. Maybe Loki could have gone out there and he would have been fine. If the show says it, then you have to believe it. He is a. And he is. They, a, the show said a lot of stuff in uh, series one that was not true. Well. I don't understand why you just don't believe it. It's just fine, and and maybe I'm not I'm not a hundred percent saying I don't believe. It. I'm just saying it's a possibility that somebody else could have gone out there and they would have been okay. No. <laughs> uh, and, and, and if you think about it too, as soon as he was destroyed, the time balloon blew up. He never would have made it. Maybe there that in the first accelerated. Place. Maybe the fact that Victor Tomlin went out there and got spaghetti by accelerated it. No, it's no, 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 no. No, 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 All right. No, no, <laughs> no. It's like, it's not, no, I've talked about this a billion times. We can't it's make like a super stuff cut up. of nose. We can't just make stuff up. But it was live. It's in real time. Yeah, we can't just make stuff up. I'm not up. making stuff up. I'm just guessing at what yeah, might. Yeah, but don't, there's no reason to guess. It's we'll fun. See. Guessing is it, fun. 
I guess it's fun. It's not fun for it's not fun to me. That's fun. I, I don't know why it's not fun for me. It's just not. Um, I get okay. It's fine. Okay, okay. You know, and to be honest with you, I thought the same thing you did about Victor Tomley, but but I don't know. Yeah, I hope that I hope that's not the case. That seems like too easy a fix. I don't think um, they would immediately figure that out. I think you know that might be like Loki did volunteer to go first. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and, and Loki is technically. Some sort of he's supernatural. Well, no, he's a space alien with power. He's what everybody calls a god. Yeah. So, so he god. might be able to endure the radiation more than others. It feels like a sacrifice play, which, right. I mean, this show has no problem using tropes. So killing off Loki to save the universe feels will fit very well in he the show. He wouldn't die. He might. I mean, he definitely wouldn't Wait, in what's, the fourth episode. What's Tom Hiddleston's contract say? Is his contract up? Tom Hiddleston is playing Loki for as long as he can play Loki. Maybe. I don't think he's in any rush to no longer be Loki. Hmm. We'll see. I'm not worried about it. I'm very much looking forward to episode five. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I don't like that it comes out on Thursday nights. I'm with you. I'm with you. Out. I always forget. Yeah, I, I always expect it to come out Thursday, so I can just download it and watch it on the train, but then I realize it's at night. So yeah, I, right. And, and, then, like, and last, last series was Wednesdays. Yeah, and then I don't know when to watch it. We record on Sundays, so I have to watch it. And like, I watch football on Saturdays, so when oh, I, yeah. I guess I got to watch it on Friday. And like, ugh, you know, it's just <laughs> <laughs> you know. I watch it live. So, what do you mean? Oh, the, when it comes out? When it comes out? Yeah. Wow! Wow! I have a hard. I have a weird relationship. If I'm on my, we should couch, do that again for the last episode. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. But if I'm on my couch, like, I want to play video games. <laughs> and sometimes I'll watch a movie, but not not, not often. Um, I'm thinking about getting a new TV. Yeah. I don't really need one, but I'm thinking about getting Why one. are you thinking about getting a new TV? I want, o, I want OLED. What oh, yeah, right. Yeah, get an LG. What do you have? LG. I don't like LG. I want a Samsung or a Sony. No, 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 no. Get an LG. Why? They're the best. LG is not better than Samsung and Sony. Their OLEDs are the best. They're top of the Wait, line. Wait, so LG has better OLEDs than Samsung or Sony? Yes. What? Yes. Is that a Consumer Reports? I don't know. What do you have? I'm an LG. OLED? I don't think mine's, mine's not OLED. I want Adobe Vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, get a, my get a LG. Get an LG. My TV's five years old. At least, never had, at least look hard at an LG. I never had a TV longer than this before. <clears throat> I always get TVs every four years or so. Right. But yeah. I guess the technology is stale. Right? I I upgrade TVs really slowly. Yeah, so everybody. My wife says I shouldn't do it. I had a thirty-eight inch. That's not big enough. Ten, listen to me. I had a thirty-eight inch, ten eighty p. HDTV with a built-in HDTV receiver that was a tube. Wow. And it was widescreen. Yeah, those, those are big TV. I have that one of those. That thing oh. was heavy. Wait, how long did you have it? I had it for like... probably close to 10 years. Wow. Those things are heavy. I had one. Yeah, and I moved it, I think, twice. No, I had one. I had one of those. It was a Samsung. It was a tube. But it was like HD. But was it yeah. widescreen? Yeah, it was widescreen. A widescreen tube? Yeah. Okay, I thought it I was, was like it, one of the few people that ever had one of those. Mine was 40 inches. Yeah. So it was pretty big. Right. And then um, I gave it away. <clears throat> and then I got... Um, yeah, I don't the, know if I ever found anybody to take mine or if I just like took it to a recycling center or what. I need to find an electronic recycling center. I have, I have like four computers in the house I need to get rid of. Uh, and a bunch of phones. Um, what were we talking about? We well, talking that's about enough that? TV talk. Yeah, I w- we actually could do a TV podcast. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah, uh, are you ready for some news you can't abuse? I'm ready for it. It's not much. Um, so here's the first one. Did you know that there was a problem with the MCU timeline connected to Spider-Man: um, um, Homecoming? No. At the beginning of Spider-Man: Homecoming, uh, it, it it gave a wrong date. 
and so the date said that it was so okay i'll read it uh it, so when spider-man no way home came out in 2017 it said four years it said four years ago or four years later or something like that and so every so it was like spider-man homecoming happened four years bef- after the battle of new york so you had to you have avengers one and then four years later you have spider-man that's incorrect and so the new uh the new the new mcu uh timeline book that came out fixes that it fixes the error What's it um, supposed to be? Eight years. I don't care. And like Miss Minutes is in the book, so like Miss Minutes is actually talking about the timeline in the book, which is interesting. I'm not really sure. I don't like a villain educating me, educating me about the timeline. I think she's only a villain right now. I don't think she's going to stay that way. She's people like her too much. <clears throat> uh, and she's second, pretty villainous. Yeah, and second, um. This is another thing that you probably won't care about, but uh, yeah, Spider Man thing doesn't worry me. Are they going to go back and update the movie? No, 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 no. They mm-hmm. They're probably. Um, and uh, Wonder Maximoff from from um, uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. He is officially dead. I saw murmurs about that recently. Kevin Feige well, said that, right? No, the book said the, the, the book new said MCU okay. book said. She is officially dead. She's not coming back. Uh, man, I still have bad feelings about that movie. That movie is probably the most polarizing movie I watched in a long time. Because I was like, I like Wonder Maximoff. What? What are you doing? Uh, remember that we had we had like what, three mm-hmm. podcasts on that. It was a really good movie, though. Oh yeah, it's probably one of my favorite MCU movies. Uh, I I I'll watch that again right now. Yeah, it's a really good movie. People just don't like how Wanda was treated in it. Yeah. Yeah. You know that you know they had a deleted scene where she um fights um Mongo, whatever his name is. Um Mordo? Yeah, Mordo shows up in the in the in the proper timeline. He shows up to kill her and she takes his head off. She kills him. Interesting. And she actually holds his head up to Doctor Strange and be like, Here's your friend. <laughs> it's, it's a whole thing. Mm. Anyway, that's it. That's all. That's all the news? Yeah, it's nothing. Except that you know, um, you go start seeing a, a, some some more different leaks for um, the Marvels coming out. They're starting to do some movie clips and stuff like that. So you should be officially in the spoiler alert territory. If you do not want to be spoiled for the Marvels, stay off the internet. And in fact, just stay off the internet anyway because it's a terrible place. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not watching any more trailers or anything from here. No, on me out. neither. No, me neither. Nope. The last and one I, I watched was the one that you mentioned, where the. Um, and I envisioned it when you were talking about it. I envisioned it differently in my head. Um, how the Bifrost would have worked. I was thinking they were like on a planet, and he came down the way he normally does with the Bifrost, but or mm. somebody did. But the way it worked was they were in on a spaceship, and the Bifrost comes in like horizontally. Yeah, it's definitely Bifrost, but we don't know who's coming out of it. Right. So right. I don't know how that's how I still don't know how I feel about that. I don't like that they put that in a thing. I would have rather not known about that. Well, it kind of feels like, hey guys, you don't like the Marvels dudes? Well, hey, Thor might be in it, bro. Right. You right. know, like I don't care if Thor's in it. Bro. Like, I, I was gonna watch it. Might have a dude Thor. in it, bro. Oh yeah, man. Muscles, mm, testosterone, long hair. Like what I don't care. Like I don't I don't care. I was gonna watch this movie anyway. And I'm only watching it for for Ms. Marvel. That's the only reason I'm watching this movie. <laughs> I mean, you, you'd watch it anyway, but... Yeah, but Ms. Marvel being That's in, the draw like, for wait, you, yeah. We've been waiting for this since the end of Ms. Marvel. Since the end of episode of Ms. Marvel, we've been waiting for this movie. That's been a while. It's it. been yeah, a been year a and a half. Now. Yeah, I'm stoked. I mean, I mean, yeah, we've been waiting forever to see what happened to her and to see what's going on, so I'm super stoked. She's like, she's, she's such a dynamic presence. She's so funny, you know, and she's so interesting. Right. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yep. All right, we're all done, guys. Uh, that's episode four of Loki. What's the title, Mike? Um, what is it? The Heart of the TVA. Just Heart, Heart of the of TVA. TVA. Uh, if you haven't watched it yet, we ruined it for you. But if you have watched it, I hope we. I mean, you, you should probably podcast. watch the episodes before you listen to our podcast. Yeah, we. Yeah, our, our podcast is spoilers. Complete right. Yeah, spoilers. I mean, we talk about everything. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Generally, unless you're like you know. Like Jay, you like being spoiled. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't but generally, I would I would suggest watching the episode first, then listening to the podcast. 
I actually would enjoy reading a synopsis of the episode before I watch it. Because... This is the replacement of, like, if you don't have friends to talk about the episode with, this is, you know, that's what the podcast is for. Yeah, you know what? We're on Mastodon. Uh, so if you want to send us questions, uh, mm-hmm. send us questions on Mastodon. For we sure. also have YouTube, so send us some questions on YouTube. We'll yeah, have, we have questions. a follow-up section on the on the next episode, yeah. answering people's yeah. questions. We could totally do that. It'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. All right, Mike, how can people share this episode with people? How can how can people <clears throat> give this episode to other people so they can listen to it and like it? Hit that share button and send it to people. Um, Halloween's coming up. You can hit the share button and send it to the trick-or-treaters. Just say, hey, you like podcasts? Boom, here you go. Are you dressing up, Mike? Um, I am not. Are you kids? What are your kids doing? Uh, my son is going to be a zombie. Mm. I don't know. I think my daughter's just going to stay at home. Mm. She's like 16 now, so. It's still, she can still go to a Halloween party. Um, yeah, but she's not going out trick-or-treating or anything like that. So. Why not? I don't, she doesn't want to. No, that's sad. When did you stop? I didn't go trick or treat. My mom said that Halloween was of the devil. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, poor you. Uh, I, I think I stopped in mid- in the middle of high school. So that's about where she's at. I mean, it's free candy, right? Like, right. Go, go, go get it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, I give out candy. It doesn't matter how old you are. Do people come by your house? Oh yeah, we're in a we're in like a classic neighborhood for. Halloween. So who's so so you guys do you guys like sit on a porch with candy or do you like just open the door over and over? <clears throat> I've done both. Depends. I would just sit on the porch. I wouldn't want to keep opening the door. I do that. I do that. Play games on my phone or whatever. Listen to music. Yeah. Yeah. I would just like have a big bucket full of candy and sit that and say, like, "Get the get your candy." I don't, don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like whatever. Right. You know. That's funny. Do people still think they put razor blades in candy still? Who knows, man? Who knows? Can you still take your candy to the hospital with the x-ray? I think so. That's crazy. <laughs> That's such a weird Can you what imagine? Weird yeah. What a weird thing. <laughs> Hi, I, will, I, I know you have to do I know you have a very expensive piece of technology, but I want you to x-ray my candy. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I just bought from the store. It's already packaged, but I want you to do it anyway. <laughs> I think it's for candy that the kids have gotten, so that. Um, oh, I know why strangers know, didn't put razor blades in. Yeah, I, yeah. I know why. I know why they do it. Um, but like, it's stupid. I mean, like, it's just like, oh, I hate children. I'm putting razor blades in their candy. Like, well, come on, did that ever happen? I, no, uh, did that ever happen? Or were people just afraid that it could happen? I think they're afraid it could happen. I don't think that's ever happened, did it? It's probably it like a happened. somebody just started a hoax. Yeah, and now look, you got you have the poor X-ray technician. And you know, like a few sit- years ago, people were worried that. Um, Fentanyl, right? No, no. When when marijuana got legalized, people were worried that uh, people would give out edibles to kids. Like, like, you know how much those things cost? Ain't nobody yeah, giving those giving out you to my kids. Edibles? Right. I'm not, those edibles, are, I'm not giving you my drugs to kids. And, like, what's the point of doing that? So kids get high, like, and then, like, you get to laugh because you don't even get to see it happen. Yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't get to see it happen. There is so much fear mongering in our society. It's just ridiculous. Right. It's like, but I guess if you have kids, you kind of, I guess you're constantly afraid. Is that it? Uh, I'm sure some people are, yeah. Oh. I don't get it. Maybe I'll buy some edibles and give it out as candy this year. I don't think you will. I, I, no, I'm lazy. It's are too you expensive. Yeah, anyway. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Yep.